Here we are at the Iconic Heart. This symbol is known around the world, and this is a great place to start your meeting. So let's get a picture here. Um, let me see if I can find someone. Thomas. Oh my gosh, Nancy, hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations, what an amazing meeting. Well, we're so we are excited. incredibly excited, but um, since I have you, I'm gonna ask you a question. What are you most excited about this meeting? You know, I just left the early career session, so I'm excited by all the early career investigators here that will receive mentorship and networking. It's an important part of the meeting. Couldn't agree with you more. Early career, really a, a big part of the meeting. And hey, what about we take a selfie? We have to do it. Every year we have to have our selfie. Don't forget, hashtag AHA23. We're going to head to the Heart Hub. Sound good? It sounds good. Let's do it. There we are in the Heart Hub, in the Science and Technology Hall. Here we have the Case Theater. You're gonna see TCT at AHA on live screens, which is gonna be amazing. Let's also talk about simulation. Right behind me, you're gonna have the simulation zone. Critical care cardiology, all the tools and everything to get your hands on for these latest and greatest gadgets. Listen, our health technology competition's a must see, you can't miss it. Now, if you're here, you know, you might as well get some rest and relaxation, some connections in the membership lounge and the Faha lounge, and you get an occasional snack too. Well, if you're here also, think about getting a new headshot in the headshot area. It is time to update your headshot. Um, and if you're there on Sunday, it is go red day. If you're there on Monday, it is wear sneaker day. I need to go charge my phone, so let's go head over to the charging station. Hey, Joe, look at you, it's Joe Chickwe. She's the uh, vice chair of CSSP. Joe, you have been integral in this programming, and I see that you're checking out the program right now. You know, we were just headed over to check out the abstract session. Maybe you can show us how to get there. Man, that's a little bit of a challenge. Huge meeting, complicated, but there's this fantastic app. So let, let's take a peek. You can obviously browse by session type. Yeah. You can navigate to the specific communities that you're interested in, and you can navigate exactly to the poster sessions by see it right there. Posters, yeah, that'll tell you exactly where it is. You can create your own schedule. You can personalize it. You can book. And, and here's filtering by community, right? Absolutely. And there's even a map on here that will navigate you to exactly where you need to go. Couldn't be easier to get around this meeting. And I think you told me that if we get lost, there's a help desk at the front. I think the woman's name's Carolyn. She's a pro. So if you need help, find her. Um, Joe. Great to see you around this meeting, and I'm gonna head over to the poster session. See you later. Welcome to the poster hall. By the time you're seeing this, I can only imagine how amazing it's gonna look. Well, to me, this is the foundation of scientific sessions. This is the epicenter of science. We have 4,000 abstracts, the poster boards, moderated digital, and the rapid fire. Now, the best part of all of this is early career, and I remember when I did my first poster, how stressed I was, but how exciting it was to talk with leaders around the world that were coming to hear my science and rub elbows with me. So please come and engage with our early career folks. And joining me today is Dr. Vakil Poor, who's a postdoctoral research fellow at University of Pennsylvania. It is a first time at a major meeting, so exciting for you. And I understand you're presenting an abstract at a moderated digital poster session. Tell us what are you most excited about in presenting your abstract? Well, as a trainee and a first-time attendee, what I'm most excited about poster sessions is that they provide us with this opportunity to present our work and get visibility, which will facilitate building professional connection with experts, peers, and funders, and can open the doors for future collaborations. Also, I think it's very interesting that it has a very dynamic space in which you can discuss and learn about diverse perspectives, uh, innovative ideas, and cutting-edge research in the field. Well, you heard it here from her, um, advancing careers, dynamic discussion, engagement, exactly what we want in the poster hall. So good luck to you. Thank and you. I'm gonna head over to the CV seminars. I'm in a CV seminar room, and this is where the genius of the CSSP members is on full display. So here they're thinking about who are the best speakers, what are the best topics for engaging content. Now, in the app, you'll find all 150 seminars. You know, if you, if you filter by community, it'd be easy to find. What I really want you to take advantage of this year is we extended all sessions to 75 minutes and these extra 15 minutes are for you, for engagement, for discussion. So ask a question, get involved. The other thing I want to tell you is about cross-disciplinary programming. At the AHA, we have basic science, population science, clinical science, and these CSSP members really thought how we bring them together for really exciting cross-disciplinary programming. And with me to talk about this cross-disciplinary programming is Dr. Jacette Reyes-Soffer. She's head of the ATVV community. And Jacette, thank you for your hard work. And tell us, what is it that you like most about the CV seminars? 
Um, well, thank you so much. It's so exciting to be here, Ahmed. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, the CV seminars highlight how we, as basic scientists and translational science, talk to our clinicians. It is the one meeting that really gets us in the same room. Um, we have done a great job. I think my team has done a great job this year standing up, talking to the other councils, making sure that we are inclusive and that we have not only young investigators, but also established investigators on the panel. So it should lead to very nice discussion this year. We're looking forward to it. Well, I like what you said about bringing everyone in the room from basic to translational to patients. You'll see that on display at the AHA this year. And thank you again for your efforts. And now let's head to the main event room. Here we are back at the main event hall, and this might be a little existential when you see me tomorrow. I mean today. Anyway, this hall is synonymous with late breakers, but let's not forget the other amazing major content we have. So first, we have the Nobel session on Sunday. Don't miss it. We also have lots of other main events, cardiac arrest on the field, update in cardio kidney metabolic health, and then the featured science sessions where we look at deep dives into secondary analysis from uh, major trials, and then the Connor lecture, the presidential lecture on Sunday. All right, back to late breakers. Eight sessions, 27 late breakers, the full spectrum, prevention, EP, coronary artery disease, hypertension, and AI. You're not gonna wanna miss these practice changing sessions. With me to talk about late breakers is past president of the American Heart Association, Dr. Bob Harrington. Bob, welcome back. The last time we were here, you were president of the AHA. You know, I walked into the convention center and said, wow, it's been four years, Philadelphia, great town to have a meeting, great convention center, glad to be here. Couldn't agree more. And listen, um, speaking of late breakers, you've been a presenter, a moderator, a discussant, you've really done it all. So tell us, what does it feel like to be in the room for a late breaker? You know, in 2019, we used the phrase, you wanna be in the room where it happens. That applies so well to late breaking clinical trials. You wanna be in the room. There's an energy, there's excitement. You can turn to the person next to you and have a conversation about what you just heard, what you just saw. Sure, you can watch it on your computer screen at home. Not the same. You wanna be in the room where it happens. You wanna be in the room where it happens and energy, we heard that. So, well, uh, well said, I think that's a wrap. And now I'm gonna go back and hand it off to myself. Let's go get a seat. Let's do it. <laughs>